Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about eight common blood types based on the red blood cells. Your blood is the life-sustaining fluid that flows throughout your body. It can be classified or typed based on antigens found on your red blood cells. I'd like to use a pizza as an analogy to help us understand this concept. So, if you have type A blood, then on your pizza, you only have A toppings. If you are type B, then you only have B toppings. If you're type AB, then you have A and B toppings. And if you're type O, you don't have any toppings. I guess you're a plain pizza. These toppings represent antigens, and antigens are one way that your immune system uses to help recognize foreign or dangerous objects inside the body. If you have foreign antigens, your immune system will begin creating antibodies that identify and attack these foreign antigens. With your blood, it will begin to clump together in a process called agglutination, and this is harmful and maybe even will cause death. Bottom line, no foreign antigens are allowed. So type A can receive type A blood because the A antigens are recognized as safe or self and that you can also receive O blood because O does not have any antigens. Type B people can receive B blood and O for similar reasons. AB can receive any type of blood because they recognize A and B as self and O does not have any antigens. In addition, there are other types of antigens called RH. If you are RH positive, then you have RH toppings. If you are RH negative, you do not have any toppings. So therefore, if you're RH positive, you can receive RH positive and negative blood because you recognize these antigens as self. So a person with type A blood, A positive, can receive A positive and A negative blood. However, if you're A negative, then you cannot receive positive RH positive blood because the RH positive antigens will trigger an immune response and antibodies will attack this. So if you're B negative, it is best if you receive B negative blood and not B positive blood because it could cause a very dangerous reaction. So there we go. I hope this helps you in recognizing and understanding the different types of blood and blood typing. Thanks for watching and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.